Atlas and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater for our main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of welterweight action. And now the time has come. Come on, I want to see some Opening round here, scheduled for 12. in bad shape. <laughs> he clinches when he gets to the inside. Solid uppercut. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Magic Man's proving to be elusive. You see, he sits and waits and then strikes with that counter punch by Magic Man. He scored well after being hit himself. Final 10 seconds. Wow, is he defensively sound. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place. And that is, we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He's able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while, because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. Good block. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Come on, kids, focus. Stay away from those. Come on. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Able to dismiss it. Able to cover up that gut. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Get him, get him. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Play shot came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Magic Man's putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. 
Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. He's tired. He's tired. Come on. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Magic Man. Magic Man's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Keep working the body. Right to the body. Parries that punch away. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which way. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. Not able to land the headshot. Come on, get focused. Magic Man's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. Hasn't been a lot of distinct action so far that would give anybody a commanding lead in this fight, although on Teddy's scorecard, you can see that he is up a round after three rounds. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Magic Man. He could go down. Focus, focus. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Don't let him get to you, kid. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, banged around and down. Joey has some choices to make. Two of them. One, do I get up? And two, how do I behave? Once I'm up. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on, kill a little time. Wow, this should be fun to see right here. He hurt him. This is like a cat and a mouse game right now. He's just bullying him, pushing him around. Yeah, the cat, I've seen this cat and mouse game before. The cat was named George Foreman. The mouse, Joe Frazier. He was pushing him back, parrying him back, where he could finally get him where he wanted. Good looking counter punch. Big shot there. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. The fight is over. Magic Man's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, It may have been scheduled to go longer, but he just rescheduled it. Done. Over. Fiend.